Escapes California edition. My name is Brad Pomerantz. We are joined by Jackie Irwin. She is one of the newest members of the California State Assembly. We're sitting in her district. We're in Ventura, California t today. Jackie Irwin, uh, you are the only Democrat to have won in a targeted race in the entire state in the California State Legislature. Jackie Irwin, how did you do that? <laughs> Well, I think it ended up being a lot of small things. This is probably the closest uh, district in the entire state. Our Democratic advantage is uh, probably three or four points. And as you know, in low voter turnout, Democrats um, vote in much smaller numbers. So uh, I have been a council member, served in local government in Thousand Oaks for the last 10 years. And uh, most people didn't know that I was a Democrat because they knew me as a nonpartisan right. problem solver. So. Uh, I was able to meet a lot of people over the years. Have um, We've accomplished a lot in the city of Thousand Oaks. But think about this. This is an area that has been represented by Jeff Gurrell, Tony Strickland, Elton Galligley, Tom McClintock. These are partisan conservative Republicans. Great men. We know them well. They're not moderate Democrats. And this really is the first time this area has elected a Democrat to the state legislature as long as I can remember. So it's a tremendous testament to you, and mind you, you did it in 2014, a midterm year when Democrats, I mean, it wasn't the wave like the rest of the nation, but it was not the best day for California Democrats. No, it, it certainly was, right. but but we, it, it was not a good day for Democrats, mm -hmm. but we worked really hard. I knocked on a lot of doors with my uh, mom and my daughter, mm -hmm. and we had an incredible team in place. We nef left nothing to chance. So uh, the Assembly Democrats did a voter registration drive. They were able to register 8,000 new Democrats in Oxnard, and we just had a machine. Everybody performed what they had to an incredible ground game. The last four days we had 200 people out in the field every day. We were knocking on doors till 8 o'clock on election day. Again, leave, leaving nothing to chance. What's remarkable about your win, and I was speaking with some folks and I was asking them about the analysis. How did Jackie Irwin pull it off? You apparently were able to pull a significant number of Republicans to your column. That's not easy to do. How were you able to do that? Why is it Republicans were willing to jump party ticket. Mind you, Republicans who then turned around and voted for Jeff Gurrell for Congress against Julia Brownlee, who did wind up winning, but be that as it may, ticket splitting is not common, but how are you able to do it? Again, I have to, we have to look at the track record in Thousand Oaks. It's a very fiscally conservative mm -hmm. city, uh, a very safe city, and I had a lot of Republican endorsements. So I think once people see that track record and see that other Republicans were willing to come out publicly right. and support me, and 10 years on the city council, going to events, uh, being involved with Rotary, doing all those type of activities, a lot of people personally knew me and felt comfortable supporting me. Yeah. What about the fact that if you think about your district, I think about kind of on the one side of the Camarillo Pass and the other side of the Camarillo Pass. I mean, I got to think that you were well known on kind of your side of the Camarillo Pass, but then you had to go over and you were not as well known and it, you still still did well in that area. Well, we did very well in Thousand Oaks mm -hmm. and um, in, in an area where the Democratic registration is about 32 percent. Mm -hmm. uh, and we did very well in Oxnard. I spent a lot of time in Oxnard. Now Camarillo, they don't know me as well, but uh, I walked there with my daughter for three or four weeks straight introducing myself to voters. And I think as people get to know me and as I do a good job of representing the district, even areas that I didn't uh, have necessarily the same uh, support that I did in Thousand Oaks right. and in Oxnard will, um, will be supporting me. And what one will often hear running as a Democrat, uh, as a moderate Democrat, whatever that may mean to you or whomever, is you'll hear business interests say, you know, I, I like you, Jackie, or when I know you're a moderate Democrat, what I'm concerned with is that when you get to Sacramento, the caucus will force you to vote in a way that's not supportive of business. And so I, I can't be there for you. Caucuses are too strong. And so best of luck. How did you respond to that? Well, and I, I did get a huge, huge <laughs> right. amount of business support. I so, um, and, and basically we, we talk, they understand that I'm pragmatic, but I also had a discussion with the speaker mm. and I said, I, I, am, I am going up there to represent my district and I have a moderate district. I can't turn around and be forced to vote one way by the, the party and then come back and tell the voters, yes, I'm still a moderate, please vote for me right. uh, two years down the road. That, it's just not gonna happen. I wouldn't keep my seat right. if I didn't vote my district and my conscience. 
Tell me about your district. What are their concerns, their hopes, their fears? And I ask you specifically because, as you said, you walked and walked and walked. So I'm sure when you knocked on doors and you said, I'm running for the state assembly, you started to hear certain themes repeated over and over. What were those themes? I think the, the biggest two issues on everybody's mind are education mm -hmm. and jobs. And so uh, I, I think it's a very exciting time for education with the local control funding yes. formula. Additional money is going into K-12 and we want to see that money well spent and we want to see better educational outcomes. So I think looking at that type of accountability, we also need to definitely support our, our higher education. And you know that all leads into jobs. We are never going to be a cheap place to do business, especially not coastal southern California, right. but we can strive to have the best edu educated population. I also met with a lot of businesses, mm -hmm. and uh, Ventura County is also the home to ag. Yes, no and, doubt. Um, very, very expensive place to do business, probably the most expensive county to do business, and yet uh, uh, the 12th most productive county in the entire United States. So I really want to dig into some of the issues they're having with, with water and some of the exciting uh, innovations that are going on in alternative technology right. and sustainability. Let me ask you about ag and water because you know as well as I that we are in a severe drought. The voters apparently saw that. They voted in favor of Proposition 1. Wow, God, two-thirds. So it was, a, it was a nice victory for the proponents of that initiative. When you walked, when you spoke with business, was the drought on top of mind or is there still a bit of a disconnect? about the severity of this crisis? I, I think it is foremost on everybody's mm -hmm. mind. One of the things you realize when you're walking through neighborhoods is there are a lot of dead lawns out. And right. so I did I did talk to people about the lawn re rebate program that they have in Thousand Oaks and, right. and throughout other areas of the county, but they're very concerned uh, about water. And um, with farming, it's absolutely critical. If we're gonna continue to farm here, we need to deal better with the water situation. And a lot of farmers are, are looking at, more, are at ways to farm more um, sustainably with less water. Are they on board? Because we know the farmers, they're scared. You know, their livelihoods are based upon water. And so they're really looking any way they can to access more water, be it groundwater. And we know that is a controversial issue. So where's the uh, community, at least in Ventura County, on these questions? I, I think they're on board. They know that solutions have to be found. And especially if we talk about the groundwater, uh, the, the, the basin right. in the middle of, um, of the county, and, and that's being um, over pulled, and, and what you're going to start to get is salinity issues. So, seawater intrusion. Uh, uh, seawater mm -hmm. intrusion, exactly. So, uh, but you, what you see them starting to work together to try and find um, solutions for that. W w one thing we really need is rain. So, <laughs> please let it be. <laughs> but but right. what, you, what you're going to get with this uh, state water project with these bonds is that you're going to get additional money that we're going to be able to spend locally to take pressure off the state water system and that that would leave um, additional uh, money for ag so you can look at water recycling right. or, or desalting all those different types of projects that could potentially take more um, pressure off the state water project. I understand you've gone through new member training so I want to get a sense from you as you know a lot of your ability to effectuate change is depends on what committees you join. Do you have a sense of what committees you will be joining or that you want to join uh, up in Sacramento? It's, um, you know, I don't know how much choice I'm going to have in the <laughs> that matter. That is true. Well, you are a rising star, but be that as it may. Um, you know, certainly I think something with utilities, it uh, would be very interesting. We've done a lot of um, uh, things with like cogeneration in, sure. in Thousand Oaks and, right. and net metering. Uh, we were able to take our wastewater plant 100% off the grid this month. And Not so bad. really exciting things in that area. Um, some Something along the lines of education or a subcommittee right. in, in education I would be really interested in. And of course, being on the budget committee, you know, that well, drives policy. A tremendous win for her. Her name is Jackie Irwin. She is a new member of the California State Assembly. My name is Brad Pomerantz. This is California Edition.